the most the most primitive early shoe is just a one piece of leather wrapped around, kind of gathered and bunched up here. It doesn't often look pretty. Um, hi historically, uh, this pair of shoes developed in Northern Europe. Um, this is a this is a kind of a mid a mid development in uh, shoemaking technology. An additional sole, a thicker sole. This is our sole leather here. So to a softer upper. This is still a one-piece upper though, which is it's fairly primitive. So we're gonna build these shoes to be really tight, really hard to put on the first time. You know, like I can't just slip these on, but once they're on, they fit perfectly. Um, so all that's gonna take a little bit of time to develop because you're stretching these shoes to fit your foot. So you get a really truly custom fit. This is our leather. We've got more than we need. It's buffalo hide. And it's really super luxurious stuff. This is the, this is as good as it gets right here. Um, this pair of shoes is going to last you for the rest of your life and they're going to be the most comfortable pair of shoes you've ever worn. with considerable force. It doesn't really look like I am, but there you are. But I am, it's all up here. Take this point, and you're gonna try and drive it down in. This one's going real easy. Most of them don't go this easy. If it's like this right now, you're trying to drive it down like that, okay? <laughs> it's a sound bitch, yeah. This is uh, rubber dust. So um, at various factories, when old tires get there, they um, resurface the tires uh, by grinding off all the rubber and then putting new rubber on it. And that leaves a ton of rubber dust. And uh, it's a great way to uh, reuse some materials that would otherwise end up probably in the landfill or something like that.